hiding in my corner because look how stressful it is to shop right now. There's just like so many people. I can't even like go anywhere without being hit by a cart. Would you like some blue fish for dinner tonight? Oh my god, what is this? And oh my gosh, it is delicious. But there's no place for you to sit. Just here and I'm here to talk to you all about expat living in Hong Kong. So guess what? Costco just opened up in Shenzhen, making it the first Costco to open in southern China. There are Costco's in China, but they are mostly located up near Shanghai. Anyways, Costco opened up on January the 12th and after hearing that people were lining up about two hours just to get in, I decided to wait till the week after to go. Luckily, I didn't have to wait two hours. I waited 30 minutes. I was in the parkade or the car park. At first I got in and I was like, why are we going up the stairs? So there were um, barriers and zigzags around the car park. Okay, so it seems like we're in a never ending lineup to get into Costco. <laughs> Last week, there was a two hour wait to get inside. So. Uh, I think that was outside. Now that we're inside, I think we're gonna have to line up inside the parking lot to go inside. <laughs> I'm not sure if this Costco trip is worth it. So when I got in, I immediately felt very stressed because there were just way too many people and there were way too many massive Costco carts and everyone's just pushing them around and I literally was so stressed. So I'm just hiding in a corner right now because I'm so stressed. <laughs> Look how stressful it is. Okay, you ready for to see how stressful it is? Okay, ready, ready? Uh, there's just like so many people. I can't even like go anywhere without being hit by a cart. So I'm just gonna go back to my little corner with my bagels. I also lost my vlogging camera um, on the taxi there. So right now I'm just filming with my phone. So please don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can make funds to buy a new camera. So to get to Costco from Hong Kong, you take the light blue line. That's the eastern line and that will take you to Lok Ma Jiao. And from Lok Ma Jiao, that, that is where you cross the border to Shenzhen. Then after you finish your border crossing, so you take the number four line to Hongshan Station. And from Hongshan Station, you get out Exit B. And from Exit B, you can either walk to Costco, which takes about 25 minutes. It's about 1.6 kilometers, checked on Google Maps. Or what we did is we just took a taxi for about 10 to 12 RMB. So I didn't know that Costco memberships are worldwide. So you can actually use your North American Costco membership and use it in Costco China. But I didn't have one, so I bought one. It is 299 RMB. You can buy it through the app. So just download the Costco China app and you can purchase it using the app. You do need a China number, which luckily I was able to purchase like a short term temporary China number using my prepaid SIM card through 3. And uh, you will also need to pay for the membership using a China payment method, which is WeChat Pay or Alipay. So without further ado, here are the differences from Costco China and Costco North America slash Canada. So the entrance, when you want in, it looks exactly like Costco. On the left hand side are where all the electronics are, except the electronics, it, it seems like the Costco but more compact. Then you have all the specials lined up on the side of the walls. Two, the food court. So we were famished because we were we we're lining up forever. So we beeline to the food court, and luckily, the food court there were like eight cashiers, so the wait wasn't that long. So the food offered are a little different. I think the only thing that's similar to Costco North America is the hot dog. I think in Canada you have chicken strips. There's kind of like a cool KFC like fried chicken there. Uh, I noticed that there's pizza but the pizza only has two flavors. There's like the combo flavor which I think it's deluxe flavor and then there's okonomiyaki. Uh, so okonomiyaki is a Japanese pancake and it consists of toppings like cabbage, egg, and also seafood. I didn't try the pizza, but I did try the beef roll, or it's actually called the jumbo bulgogi bake. So it is really jumbo, so I split one between me and my friend. And oh my gosh, it is delicious. I, I just did not expect 
expect how good it would be. It's literally like a like a toasted crunchy cheese bread. And when you butt into it, there's beef inside with the cream bulgogi sauce. And then there's a lot of juice inside. It's just so good. It's like cheesy on the outside with like, oh, it's dripping. It's dripping. Uh, with like beef on the inside. It's like a bulgogi, cream bulgogi beef. It's crunchy and so good. So delicious. So be careful when you're eating because it just drips everywhere. There's also the lobster beast, which my friend tried. It comes with croutons. And there's also the red bean dessert soup, which definitely does not look like anything like in the picture. <laughs> but it did have the taro mochi balls in it and I found it okay. It was a bit too sweet for me. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if it's because Costco just recently opened, but there's no place for you to sit and eat. So a lot of people were just hanging around their shopping carts and eating in their shopping carts as their table. So the items, there are a lot of items, like the typical Costco items that you would see in Costco, like the vitamins, the shampoo, but I noticed that there were a lot more Asian items. For example, there was this extremely massive Yakult probiotics, which I've never seen before. There were also massive versions of Asian products like these lace chips. There were also these items as well. butterfly cookie this big before it's like massive look at this <sighs> and it's 27 rmb you can also buy fancy fancy expensive chinese wine like this lovely i don't know what this is but it looks really nice and fancy so i'm heading to the refrigerator section uh so salads aren't really something that Chinese people eat, so I assume they won't be like packs of salad. Which I am right. It's mostly like it's mostly like fresh vegetables. Okay, yeah, mostly fresh vegetables. No packs of salad like you would see in a regular Costco in North America. Jackfruit. <laughs> I think there's jackfruit in. I remember seeing something like that in. Okay, there's durian. Oh, look at that. Durian. This is fresh. How much is it? It's uh, 154 yen. Clothing. I love Costco clothing because it's super good quality. They have good brands. However, I was really confused because I didn't know whether to buy in a Asian size or a North American size because in North America, I'm a size small, but in Asian size, I am like a medium or a large. And then after looking closely, I realized that the clothing there are Asian size. Clothes here are actually Asia size. So Asia size, so I'm a large. <laughs> So you have your usual Costco bakery items like the bagels. Oh my god, bagels! Bagels are so hard to come by in Hong Kong. I think you have to buy two of them and they're 59 yuan each. They are blueberry and I think just plain and blueberry. You do have to get 12, so each of the bagels are packaged in six, so you can have two different flavors. I think it's also the case in North America. The bagels are a bit more expensive than in Canada, where it's like $7.99 Canadian for 12. The bagels taste exactly like the ones in Canada, so I'm so happy. So these are the chocolate muffins. They look a little bit different. You do have to buy two, but yeah, they do look a little bit off, don't they? <laughs> the muffins come in six and you have to buy two, so you have to buy 12. But I remember in Canada, they come in like massive 12s 
and you have to buy two 12, so you have to buy 24 muffins at a time. So seems like you don't have to buy as many here in Costco China. There were also some Asian bakery goods. So there were this really, really cute taro mochi croissants. There were also these uh, daifukus, which are like the mochi with the strawberries in it. Uh, 69 yuan for a box. And then here we have strawberry milk pudding. Wow. This is really good. And, and there were the durian cheesecake, which I really wanted to try, but it's just so big, I couldn't even, like, I couldn't bring it back. And I'm not sure if I know anyone who really likes durian cheesecake. Oh my god, we have the cake section. And actually, this is like the gem. This is the durian cheesecake. So I can't really see it because there's so many people. We can get live lobsters. Look at this. Uh, seafood. Not a surprise to see live seafood in Costco China because it's very common to have like tanks with uh, live fish in, in China supermarkets. So here we have live lobsters. They were also selling blue fish, which my mom told me is actually very tasty, but I would rather keep one as my pet. Samples. Well, maybe because the store just opened, but I pretty much only saw like three sample booths. I was only able to sample these really, really juicy and sweet honeydew melons. And the famous roasted chicken! Everyone loves the roasted chicken in Costco. It's cheap, it's juicy, it's so convenient. You just buy it home for dinner. But however, in Costco China, I don't know if it's because it's like a novelty or something, but you have to be like on your toes and ready to snatch a chicken as soon as it comes out. Most people don't line up and it's, it's a thing in China. So you have to be careful that people do budge in line. The chicken is 39 RMB, which is pretty much the same price as it is in Canada. So after payments, we had too much stuff to walk back to the station. We walked out and there was a shuttle bus, which I think operates after 6 p.m. It is two RMB to get on and it will shuttle you back to the Hongshan station. We did wait about 10 minutes on the bus and then there was traffic so it pretty much took about 25 minutes to get to the station so if we walked it would have been the same time but I guess we got to sit so this is what I got everything here is about 900 RMB I don't know if it's a steal I think the prices in China Costco are more expensive than in North America but then you do have you know the stuff that you miss and I probably won't be going back for another two months until the hype kind of dies down because it was just literally way too stressful. I was having an anxiety attack. And apparently you can join tours from Hong Kong that would take you directly from Hong Kong through the border to Costco on a bus, which would be more convenient if you want to buy more stuff. So maybe I'll look more into that and go through that way instead. So that's it for my video. I hope you like it. If you do, please click like and subscribe for more on Expat Living in Hong Kong. Bye guys!